Avi Loeb just made an unexpected statement about the interstellar object passing through our solar system right now. He says 3i Atlas, the third confirmed visitor from beyond our solar system, may in fact be hollow. And while scientists debate on what is entering our cosmic neighborhood, a NASA rocket scientist has gone on record stating that unknown craft have been observing our space launches for years. And these stories might be connected. One is about what is coming into our solar system. The other is what has been watching us as we try to leave it. As always, I'm here to report the information without bias, and you can decide what to believe. You can find the sources in my detailed articles at ufonews.co, along with in the description box below. Hey, ufologers, I'm Christina Gomez, and welcome to this episode of UFO News Updates. On October 11, 2025, Avi Loeb published new calculations about 3i Atlas. The math revealed something strange about this object currently passing between Mars and Earth. Here is what the numbers show. 3i Atlas weighs more than 33 billion tons, or better yet, it weighs as much as 5,500 Great Pyramids stacked together. It measures somewhere between 5 and 46 kilometers across. But when Loeb calculated its gravitational pull, something didn't add up. The gravity is far weaker than it should be for an object that size and mass. When 3i Atlas passed Mars on October 3rd at a distance of about 29 million kilometers, its gravitational effect was so small it couldn't even be measured. Imagine you have a basketball and a bowling ball that are the same size. If you spin them at the same speed, they behave differently because one is hollow and light and the other is solid and heavy. Scientists can tell what's inside by watching how they spin. When Loeb watched how 3i Atlas spins and measures how much it weighs, the math told him something was off. If this were solid rock or ice all the way through, it should either weigh more than it does or it should spin at a different speed. The numbers don't match what you would see from a normal solid object. And that is the clue that makes him think it might be hollow or made of something at the very least unusual. Loeb's conclusion was that the interstellar structure is in fact strange. Either the object contains significant empty space inside, meaning it could be hollow, or it is made of material much less dense than anything we have ever seen before. Neither explanation fits what we know about natural space objects. But this isn't the first time Loeb has suggested an interstellar visitor might be artificial. In 2017, when Oumuamua passed through our solar system, it accelerated in ways that outgassing could not fully explain, and Lowe proposed it might be a probe from another civilization. Now, 3i Atlas presents its own puzzle. The math suggests something is not normal about what's inside this object. While astronomers track what enters our solar system, something else has been happening at NASA launch sites. Shanaz Sony, a rocket scientist who worked on the International Space Station systems, satellite communications, and rocket testing, says her colleagues have seen unexplained craft during launch operations. And Sony holds a degree in physics and astrospace engineering, plus security clearances, and has worked with NASA as both a contractor and an employee. The observations she describes comes from engineers and technicians, people whose careers depend on accurate technical reporting, and who understand aerospace systems at the deepest levels. When describing what launch personnel observed, she provides specific technical details on the Wisdom from North show. During the launch, you know, they would see activities that was indescribable because of the way the craft was moving the timing of the craft showing up, the craft that they could not comprehend because it would show up around the launch time to kind of almost make their presence known. But the way it would move, the way it would move was something that they have never seen any kind of craft that human has ever made that can move like that. So that was what they observed and and they also noticed that that the launch you know generally we always have a scheduled launch because it requires a lot of effort to get to the point where you can launch a rocket the heaviest rocket on planet earth right like a building uh, to go all the way break the earth atmosphere i mean that is like a um, guinness book of world record feat every time when you launch a rocket you're doing something very significant 
from a technological standpoint. However, what we have noticed is that generally the launch occurs almost like it occurs because star being also agrees that the launch needs to occur because if it doesn't mean to occur, then the weather will change in the in the in the in the window, you know, when we can say we cancel the launch. These aren't distant stars or ambiguous radar returns. According to Sony, the objects appear during critical launch windows with apparent intentionality. They perform maneuvers that violated known performance envelopes for aircraft, velocity changes without visible propulsion, directional changes that would generate a G-force beyond material tolerances, and geometric flight patterns suggesting intelligent control. And Sony approaches the phenomenon through quantum physics and even consciousness research. She argues that these intelligences, which she calls star beings rather than aliens, may operate through principles where consciousness directs directly interfaces with physical reality. And then she discovered a classified CIA document that changed her understanding of the phenomenon. The declassified CIA paper, paper called The Gateway Experience. And that paper was actually written by CIA in 1983. I stumbled on it in 2021. And that paper basically was done to understand the uh, hemi-sync, you know, from Dr. Robert Monroe Institute. So it was mainly done to understand that why, you know, people experience the out-of-body experience, you know, because he was able to create the sound that can stimulate you, put you in a brain frequency. The Gateway Experience paper, written by Army Lieutenant Colonel Wayne McDonnell for the CIA in 1983, investigated whether consciousness can operate independently of the physical body. And the research focused on techniques developed by Dr. Robert Monroe at the Monroe Institute, using auto frequencies to synchronize brain hemispheres and induce altered states. The CIA conclusion mentioned that consciousness can access information beyond normal space-time constraints by operating at the Planck scale, where quantum mechanics shows that space and time behave differently than in our everyday experience. As documented in the official CIA Reading Room archives, the paper states that consciousness in these states can travel to any point in space-time. And Sony connects this to experimental physics that has been replicated thousands of times. Uh, but the bottom line is that the double slit experiment that, that was done in 1900 proved everybody that consciousness interfered with what they were looking at. And, and not only that it interfered, um, it interfered even if it was a cat or a dog or even a machine. It didn't have to be a human for it to interfere. A double slit experiment demonstrates that observation affects particle behavior at the quantum level. When particles are observed, they behave differently than when they are unobserved. This has been confirmed in laboratories worldwide and forms the foundation of quantum mechanics. If consciousness influences matter at the quantum scale, and if advanced intelligences have mastered that relationship, conventional propulsion systems might not be necessary. The craft could operate through consciousness-based technology. If you enjoy UFO news, updates, case studies, and interviews, and you will like this channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this episode with those you want to keep in the know with the latest UFO news. Intelligence agencies have studied consciousness-based information gathering since the 1970s through programs like Stargate, which use remote viewing, the ability to perceive distant locations through non-physical means, operationally for the Defense Intelligence Agency. We now have three data points converging. We have confirmed interstellar objects entering our solar system, decades of UFO reports from credible witnesses, including aerospace engineers, and documented government research into consciousness operating beyond normal physical constraints. Sony sees these as connected phenomena pointing towards something larger. So when you really look, there's nothing happening by itself. Every single thing has connections, has tentacles. The question is not whether these phenomena exist. 
question is how they connect and what it means for humanity as we develop the capability to leave our own planet if we ever get the opportunity to do so. Given what we know about the interstellar objects like the 3 I Atlas, UFO observations at NASA facilities, and consciousness research by intelligence agencies, what do you think is the most important question we should be asking right now? now. Drop your answers in the comments. I'm Christina Gomez and that is it for today. I will see you again tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST for another UFO news update. Be safe and remember, keep your eyes on the skies. enjoyed today's show hit that like button and if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for hit the notification bell as i do daily ufo news and updates fresh uap stories government disclosures and breaking developments land here every single day